up, guys? It's Ryan. Wood practice makes perfection. Coming at you with a new laser. Uh, let me grab my old one real quick. Shop's pretty messy, but uh, you know. So here's well, let's get down here. Here's my old laser, Saint Spark 5.5 watt. So now I got this Naja. I think that's how you say it, Naja, Naji, Niji, something like that. So it's pretty cool. So this was a 5.5 watt. This one, I guess, has two 7.5s in it, but they come, it's kind of like, uh, got like a little mirror, so it combines two of them. It's pretty awesome. Uh, cuts stuff like butter. So these diode lasers are mostly used for engraving, not really cutting. You know, if you want to start cutting things out, you're going to need a CO2 laser. Which those things are really pricey because once you get into that, you gotta not only get the CO2 laser, but then you gotta get the you know the coolers. You gotta get the exhaust fans, which honestly I really need to do is build an enclosure for my machine, uh, not only just for smoke and stuff like that, but all my sawdust. So I mean, I did get a little dust collection thing, but honestly, I haven't been using this as much as I'd like to, but I definitely want to start getting back into it. Back to what I was saying, though, is those things are really expensive. So I see a lot of forums, well, mainly Facebook groups, a lot of people are asking, hey, how do I cut out? And they're using these 5.5 watt lasers, and yeah, you can do it. Uh, I've done it in the past, but it, it takes so much time, and that can be kind of frustrating, especially, uh, you know, I might as well cut it with my CNC, it'd be a lot quicker, but, uh, you know, then you got all the sawdust, you know, there's many variables, but I think the lasers, I want to get a CO2 laser, but maybe in the future, till then, um, I bought this. I got it for about three fifty. Uh, I guess not too too bad, considering I paid about one hundred fifty for that uh, five point five watt. And then I got this Air Assist. I got this from a dude in Germany off of Etsy. I think his name's Tobias. Uh, I'll leave a link because these things are awesome. They make where kind of. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm still getting used to this. Uh, Give me just a second. Uh, that's my. Nope, that's not it. Well, we... I'll just try to get it up in there. But it goes in the direction, or, you know, it's not coming from the side, so it shoots it down into the laser. I melted the two that came with it, but he was cool enough to send me like 12 new ones. I asked him if I could just buy some, and he, he just shipped them to me. It's like they're on their way. I was like, that's awesome. So good customer support. They make these for, you know, these other ones. My kids are screaming. Give me just a second. All right, I'm back. And kids were asking for Robux. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it took me about 10 days to get it shipped from Germany. Uh, they're, they're pretty awesome. And so I just have a tube set up so that I can remove it. Going to my brand new air compressor. It's a big boy. I figure I might as well just go go big or go home. Like I said, my shop's messy. Sorry. So, I got a little filter here. I said it's about, it gets to about, I know it's loud. Coming out about 40 PSI, but, uh, this stuff will, come on, this stuff will cut through this stuff like butter. So let me just uh, cut it on. I believe this stuff is, uh, I know my camera's everywhere, geez. This stuff right here, take this off of follow, tilt lock, there we go. First person view, I think. One of these days, my camera skills will get better. So we're about 
millimeters. So this is a point, looks like it's point one, point two inches. Let's get this set up on here. Now, if you can see this here, this is quarter inch. Uh, this is cherry. You can see here, I cut out, you can't really see it, but I was trying to do some Batman inlays. That was uh, not working out. Wasted a lot of wood. But it'll cut, I had this on 75 millimeters a minute, and it cut all the way through for one pass. So, like I said, this thing is pretty awesome. Let's uh, get my light burn set up. Let's see. I don't think I need 75 for this stuff. So let's go 300 millimeters per second. Got power on 99. Oh, it's not even on there. And cut on the axis. Forgot to set the focus. I use this little, just this little uh, wrench thing. Came with my airbrush. Just lower it down right there. Pull it out. Cut the air back on. Forgot to turn on the laser. Give me just a second. Now I do have the PWM hooked up because I think it was just my wiring that was messed up. Uh, I ordered a new one, plugged it in, it kind of did the same thing. Uh, but I think I had to uh, splice some stuff. I, I think it's just my wiring and I haven't really messed around with it again. So I just plug it into uh, an outlet over there and using that right now. Sooner or later I'll get that other circuit card so that my my laser or not my laser my CNC control box will control it but until then uh, yeah but uh, let's go ahead and run this yeah silly me so uh, <laughs> the uh, laser is not plugged in uh, <laughs> This is why I never make videos, is because I constantly mess everything up. Alright, let's set this down real quick. It's plugged into the back. go we got some power with the fan just cut on so <laughs> third time's a charm So that was the 300. Let's get in there close. Look how. Come on, focus. Pull this up. So these lines are pretty crisp. Didn't quite make it all the way through. So let's try. Try that 200. Actually, let's go 250. See if we can make it all the way through there.
Here we are at 250. Back side. Definitely uh almost alright, let's, let's give it the two hundred. How did 200 do? So close. All so close. So. Go 175. Looking at because I set the camera down to change the settings. Always make sure I turn on my air because I'm not going to be safe. Here's the back side of that 175, so she popped right out. So I think maybe a 150 would probably just uh, get her to fall right out. Let's let's try a 150 and then we'll cut this this video. But I don't think that's too bad for a diode laser. There we go. 150 just fell right out. So, like I said, if you want something that's not going to take all day, then uh, CO2 laser is definitely the way to go. But uh, who's got that kind of money, right? Well, some people do, but I don't. So, I have to make do with what I got. And yeah, uh, I highly recommend this laser. Uh, if you're doing, you know, you do like Christmas ornaments, it's about that time of year. And, yeah. Thanks for uh, checking out my new laser. Hopefully make some, uh, some cool videos coming up here soon. I always say that uh, I'm going to make some videos ever since I got my Saint Spart. 4030 Prover and upgraded it to this big beast um, that I'm going to do a bunch of stuff, but uh, hopefully I find some time here soon. You guys take it easy.